Good morning, good afternoon, whenever this reaches you, uh, Randy Clark, uh, this is Matthew Robert Payne, I got your name uh, from uh, Prophetic Insights for 2010 by Matt Sorger, he had you in a note and uh, I assume because you're in a note you're a big person, I've heard of your name before, I haven't read any of books, I know that uh, you're a major prophet in the world and uh, I really agree with what Randy had to say about 2010. In fact, I've, I've written a book on um, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. I've written a 65-page treatment of, uh, of te 11 pages. So I know uh, God's going to be working on righteousness through the body this year. Now, Randy, um, I, I imagine it's a good thing that I don't know you, I don't know anything about you, uh, this would be fresh. Uh, there'd be a lot of people in your life that prophetically speak into your life that know quite a bit about you. Um, I think it's a real blessing for a total stranger to speak words into your life. Uh, the first image I get for you is, um, is, is it's like a it's like a little collection of porcelain dolls. Um, it's not just one. I initially got one, but there's a father and a mother and children, and they're all porcelain dolls. And um, I think it's an image of the perfect family. I think uh, the meaning of it is. It's an image of the perfect family. I, I think um, I think what the Lord's telling me to tell you is a word of wisdom that God's called you to the family unit, to the family home, to bring restoration in marriages, to bring restoration in children, to teach uh, families how to be families, to pe teach fathers how to be mo fathers, teach mothers how to be mothers, teach children how to respect their parents. I think uh, there's major work, uh, Satan's doing major work on youth and major work in divorce and major, he's coming majorly against the family, lack of respect for fathers, uh, women uh, thinking they're more of a boss than they are. There's a lot of destructive work being done by the enemy, especially by the Simpsons and shows like that. And uh, I think uh, the word of wisdom is God wants you to call the families back to the perfect standard of righteousness and that's uh, preached in the Bible um, to you to bring people back to uh, what was the standard 100 years ago, 200 years ago of a proper family. Um, that's a major task. I don't know if that's a book or a, a video series or a seminar. Seminars would work good with a workbook. would be fantastic. I, I think um, you may not uh, have the time to be doing that full time but God says you're the man to put it together. You're the man to do it. Uh, it may not be in uh, your traditional field of work, but that's a job God's got for you to do. Uh, um, when I get words of wisdom, they're very clear. Uh, it's up to the people to go ahead with the words of wisdom. I get an image of, um, of a plane. Uh, not a flying plane, but one of those planes that you plane would. And um, God says that, uh, or Jesus says that uh, you're um, you're one of them. Uh, you can take what is pretty good, and you can really sharpen it and uh, bring it to perfection. Um, you've got a special ability to come along and see a person, see all their faults, see all their strengths, and. Uh, touch their strengths and give them a bit of a touch up to make them look more perfect and uh, tell them how to deal with their faults but you, you don't so much concentrate on faults um, as much as um, making their, their good points shine. Um, Jesus says he knows all about making people shine and, and encouraging their good points because that's a lot of what he does. Um, Jesus says that you've got a heart after him. Uh, uh, certainly you've got a heart after his father, but Jesus says, uh, tell Randy I know he's got a heart after me. Uh, tell him that I know that he wants to emulate me on earth. 
and he seriously wants to do greater things than I did and be known for someone, oh, Randy's just like Jesus. And um, Jesus wants you to know you've already achieved that. Um, he spoke through me to Heidi Baker uh, this morning in an email and she wrote back to me um, from prophecy I gave her and um, he said that she was perfect and complete. God said she, she was perfect and complete in his sight. And, um, Jesus says the same thing about you, Randy, that um, becoming like him is, isn't something, a goal far off. Uh, you've achieved it now. Um, he wants you to know that. Uh, you're, um, you're a bit of a perfectionist. Um, and uh, that's a good thing because God uh, made a perfect universe and without perfection things would fall apart. But Jesus wants you to know that he had unlimited time and unlimited resources when it came to creation. They had thousands of years to plan the creation. And so he had unlimited time and he was able to create perfectly and it was no stress to create millions of things at once for him. He says, you're not that same sort of person, you're in a mortal body, just as he was. Uh, you didn't see Jesus create a new universe when he came down, I'm just looking at the time. You didn't see him, Jesus was often frustrated that he was in a human body and could only be in one place at one time, and could only do a certain amount of things in the uh, 16 or 18 hour a day and it, it, it led to a lot of his tears that he couldn't do more and he has to go to the father and pour his heart out, heart out to the father that is so frustrating being a human you're like that Randy you're like Jesus in that aspect you're frustrated that you can't do more you're frustrated that you can't do better you're frustrated by your mortality by 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 your humanness and um, Jesus said don't be so rough on yourself that's just a sign that you like him that's one of the major signs that you already like him he wanted to use that illustration uh, I thought he was going to beat you up for being a perfectionist but he just got me uh, talking like that to prove to you you already like him now um, Randy he speaks a, a a lot about, uh, well, you haven't heard him speak a lot, but he just spoke a big guest, downloaded a lot to me. He says that um, your dreams are pretty big. Uh, some of the things you dream about, you haven't spoken to anyone. Uh, you said something like, if I was in charge of the world, if I was put in charge of this country, um, I'd implement this and I'd do this. And if I uh, had a chance to go to Europe, I'd do this. And if I was in authority in the United States, well, I'd do this. And if I was given a chance to take Christ to the world, well, I'd do this. And if I had uh, a television ministry and the power to reach every home with teaching, well, I'd say this. You say some pretty big things, and, and those bigger things you pretty well keep to yourself, besides people that you're really close to. Um, Jesus wants you to know before the end comes, uh, you're going to do a lot of these thises that you've been thinking about. and uh, He's going to promote you into a position where you can do it. Um, the parable of the talents he wants you to know isn't just for the new world. If you apply your ten talents here, you get the ten talents responsibility here of promotion. He wants you to know that and rest in that. That uh, if if you couldn't do bigger and, and and then you can even believe or conceive that scripture shouldn't be in the Bible. There's a lot of scriptures <coughs> that people assume are going to be in heaven, but you can do them on earth. So here's a total stranger saying, Randy your dreams are going to come true. May God bless you and your family. May he bless your ministry and always lead you. See you later.